I am sick and tired of Black Ops 3 zombies, especially when nobody seemingly has any idea why Activision doesn't seem the same way, man. Listen, I love Black Ops 3, but don't get me wrong. Black Ops 3 is almost a 10 year old game and i think what is absolutely unbelievable is that in february of 2024 in the top 10 best-selling games of xbox black ops 3 in the year 2024 is at number 10 and it's like obviously black ops 3 has something that people want and let me just tell you it's not the campaign outcome train go boom it is definitely also not the broken and hacked and bugged multiplayer. Everybody is buying this game for the zombies, even on Xbox, where they don't even have custom zombies. And so to me, when I say Black Ops 3, right next to a huge game that just released like Elden Ring in the top 10 best sellers, what does that prove to you? To me, it proves that there is something missing that we have literally not seen in a Call of Duty game in almost 10 years that Black Ops 3 provides. While yes, I believe I'm getting sick and tired of Black Ops 3, even despite me working on community projects, it is absolutely ridiculous to know that Black Ops 3 is still selling this well. And, and to me, what's even more ridiculous is that it just doesn't seem like Activision Blizzard even understands why this game is selling so well and why it's selling well on every single platform. This is just Xbox, right? On PlayStation, it's at the number 17 most played spot on PlayStation, Black Ops 3, above all of the other Call of Duty games that came before it. And I don't care if you think this game is trash, that says something. Because if it wasn't that high, I think it wouldn't even be testament to its quality. And it goes to show that people have have been dying for a round based zombies game mode and it's crazy because i've been playing a couple of new round based games not even made by call of duty like hellbreach vegas or skur ritual and these games are literally coming out at such an amazing time right now where call of duty is dropping the ball on not releasing a round based game and what's also interesting is that there was a new leak in a nintendo direct that i think has been confirmed fake but what i believe is so interesting about this is that a Nintendo Direct dropped and it says that one of the headlines that could be potentially coming out this year in September 26th of 2024 is a Call of Duty Black Ops collection. Now what's absolutely insane about this is that this also ties in with another image that was recently released of a Call of Duty Zombies logo that we have never seen in any sort of Call of Duty Zombies title. And so a lot of people have been wondering what has actually been going on with development for Call of Duty Zombies, especially with iconic names like Jimmy Zielinski and Jason Mundell. And what's insane is that they, for X Defiant as well, have even announced potentially that Jimmy Zielinski, because he's working on X Defiant at Ubisoft could also be creating a Call of Duty Zombies based mode on X Defiant. And so it's crazy because we could have lived in a world where Jimmy Zielinski is making his version of Zombies on the Ubisoft game. Jason Mandel potentially was even working with Lee Ross who created IW Zombies on that game. And they could have been working on a Zombies game as well because it's insane that Lee Ross literally tweeted that there was a time where him and Jason Mandel we're actually in talks of creating a Call of Duty Zombies based game after Black Ops 4, which never came out. And then also Deviation Games, which has now also recently been announced to have fully shut down. And now Jason Bundell and JC Backfire are working on a new project at Sony. And who knows when we'll even be able to see that. And if that at all is even related to Call of Duty as a whole, let alone just zombies. And so it's it's bringing us to this extremely weird standpoint where so many competitors now want to make a Call of Duty Zombies round base mode, except for the people that pioneered it with Treyarch and Modern Warfare 3. And listen, 
I don't mind objective-based zombies, but I think it detracts from zombies as images as a whole, especially because of the fact that there are now games that have only released with this objective-based mode, like with Modern Warfare 3. Pretty much also, I would say, with Vanguard for the majority of its first part of its life cycle. And so it makes me wonder, what really is the future of Call of Duty Zombies? And I want to talk about that because we have Gulf War apparently coming out in about five to six months and so many leaks have for this game have basically been dropped there's a tool grinder in the game that's basically how you upgrade rarity so it's separate from the arsenal the arsenal dummy machine is also coming back the crafting table is coming back xfil is also coming back and so it really makes me wonder why would they even try to copy and paste black ops cold war when it's not even performing anywhere near close as black ops 3 is right now nine years later that is the insanity to me that i genuinely believe could genuinely make a call of duty type zombies round base mode into its own big thing without Treyarch and without Activision. Like, I have never seen this game mode in the worst state that it's ever been is right now. And listen, that is why I think I'm so sick and tired of Black Ops 3 because even though it's an absolutely amazing game, it's all round base fans really have to satiate them. And it's just been so long since we had even just a serviceable Call of Duty game back in Black Ops Cold War in 2020 that people genuinely are itching for it it's like a drug at this point like it is really really bad and what's insane even on steam on black ops 3 this game is literally 80 dollars still setting selling for canadian prices yet it is in the top 50 most played games on steam right now and so to me this just seems like call of duty is just yet in another example of failure towards following their actions on what the community has actually wanted i've been reading a bunch of comments and genuinely half of these comments are basically asking if activision blizzard is blind to this because they see on every single platform Call of Duty Zombies performs even on the mobile game bro and that's where I'm saying you have all of this evidence that it is still performing even well past its life cycle yet it doesn't ever seem like something could be coming now now obviously let's get back into this Nintendo Direct leak if there was a Black Ops collection to actually be announced in September of 26th of 2024 that genuinely would be one of the craziest things I think I've ever heard. But obviously, I believe this leak is fake. However, what we know isn't fake is that obviously this year we're getting Black Ops Golf War, which I am kind of getting less and less excited about as it's containing a lot of the original mechanics from Black Ops Cold War. However, in 2025, we are guaranteed to either see a Black Ops 2 sequel or a Black Ops 2 remaster. Now, obviously, a a lot of people have a ton of bad ideas with that because they associate modern Call of Duty's very bad microtransactional practices and see how that could be infested into a game like Black Ops 2. And really, it's no different from our current Call of Duty game right now, Modern Warfare 3, where they bring back all of the MW2 maps into that game and just infest it with awful microtransaction practices. So it really makes me wonder, where are we going to be seeing the future? of Call of Duty Zombies. I've said this before, but I believe the future of Call of Duty Zombies genuinely is in a video game that has a very big audience base that in my opinion is not Call of Duty anymore, but actually Fortnite. If you've been paying attention to the Fortnite custom creative scene, they actually paid out their total creators $320 million for one year of creative maps that were publicly launched. And you know what Black Ops 3 custom zombie map makers make for making their maps with hundreds of thousands of visitors, even potentially millions? Zero. They make absolutely nothing and i've already stated this with a bunch of black ops 3 mappers and custom creators themselves why would you ever stick with a game that is outdated that the developers don't care about that activision refuses to support when you have a game like fortnite where unreal engine is being updated 
Disney just bought a $1.5 billion 10% stake in Epic Games and in Fortnite, and you know this game is going to be huge, and it's only a matter of time because in Q4 of Fortnite's creative development, they've added that first person is coming to the game, and I guarantee you once an actual first person mode is introduced onto Fortnite, I genuinely believe it's game over unless Call of Duty actually delivers with Black Ops Golf War. Like, it genuinely doesn't seem to me like Activision Blizzard understands how important Call of Duty Zombies is right now that it has to perform, even just in the community. The amount of videos that I see that have basically been copy and pasted, and listen, I'm no saint because I do the exact same thing, but I don't blame anyone else. We are in such a dire state of content that even people like Kevin Drew, the people that actually pioneered Call of Duty Zombies has basically left Twitter and we really as a community have no form of interaction with Activision and Treyarch themselves and that to me is what genuinely scares me because where we are going when there's no direction cannot be a good place in my opinion and especially because Call of Duty itself has been bleeding multiple of hundreds of thousands of players just in the past couple years I I genuinely believe that this game either has to perform or the Call of Duty Zombies player base is going to go towards another video game that just does it better. I know a lot of people, including myself, have gone to Helldivers 2, an absolutely incredible Sony game that nails what the magic behind a PvE game mode is. And I'm going to say it, because of the hackers, because of the aimbots, the future of gaming is PvE. PvP is becoming a hack factor filled with AI and nonsense. And that is why ultimately I think Fortnite recognizes this. They recognize that one day Battle Royale will be overshadowed by other modes that come out onto creative, just like how Roblox has also evolved into that same way. A bunch of random user-generated modes have become incredibly popular. And so it really saddens me to say this. And while yes, I will be obviously uploading Black Ops Call 4 and the Black Ops 2 Remap are coming up soon. I genuinely believe that the best strategy person for me was to be involved either in a game that's ground-based zombies affected on Unreal Engine 5 or on Fortnite just so we can see the actual basis of how this game evolves. I genuinely believe throughout these years I've lost trust in so much of Activision's practices and it's just insane with all of this evidence that Black Ops 3 is breaking records across the the board. It is just so sad to see that nothing can really be done about it because Activision refuses to do anything and they just want to cast a blind eye towards such a massive community that is still keeping a game, a 2015 game, like almost 10 years old, still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys' thoughts are about the future of Call of Duty Zombies because personally, I'm sick and tired of Black Ops 3 Zombies. I love the game but I really want another game like it. And Black Ops Cold War, I hate to say it, but for me personally, it has not aged that great. I don't find myself going back to play Outbreak. I don't find myself going back to play the maps. I just don't like objective-based zombies, and that's fine because I know a lot of casual players do. But however, please do not take round-based zombies away from the future of Call of Duty.